everybody, uh, four ways your actions can ruin someone else's credit. Uh, believe it or not, um, your actions could hurt someone, even if you do not have their social. Uh, there are ways to actually hurt one of your friends or family members' credit without even knowing it. So let me uh, list these down. The first one is going to be uh, unreturned library books. A lot of you don't realize. Um, you ask your family member to... Uh, to uh, uh, check out, uh, you know, a recent edition of one of your favorite Stephen King books, um, and you haven't returned it, uh, although you said you did, uh, but you didn't, um, that can very well hit their credit report. Um, more and more, these library systems are reporting to collections, and a lot of them are already hooked up with some of the major debt collection agencies. Um, getting a ticket in a friend's car, so you got a speeding ticket in your friend's car, and you threw away the ticket. Um, you know, you got a parking ticket. Um, you threw it away, and they're not going to know about it. Big deal. I'll, I'll pay it another time. They'll forget about it. Who, who knows? Um, again, more and more, uh, more and more uh, cities and states are reporting parking tickets to uh, the credit agencies. Um, failing to repay a co-signed loan. When someone is co-signed for you, they are as much responsible from a credit perspective as you are. So, with that being said, um, if you're not on time with that payment, 35% of the score is payment history. You're destroying your friend's payment history. Okay, it's the single biggest thing that makes up that credit score. So you, um, as the uh, as the borrower on that note, on that car loan or credit card or, or loan, uh, could very well be destroying someone else's credit. Okay, so having someone co-sign for you is an incredible responsibility for you. It's a responsibility to meet that obligation in order to maintain your your friend's credit as well. That actually allowed you to. To, to get that credit granted to you. Um, charging up high debts as an authorized user on someone else's card. So someone has placed you as an authorized user on their credit card as a favor. You're trying to rebuild some credit. You say, hey, throw me on your American Express. Um, and you might be paying off that debt each month, but your utilization, your, um, your uh, you know, or how much you're spending in proportion to that credit limit. So your credit limit's here at $10,000, and you've decided to put 9999 bucks on it. Um, you've overutilized that card. You've maxed out that card. Um, although you're the card holder, and that and that friend of yours said, "Hey, you know, you can you can even handle the bill." Um, your overutilization um, has caused their credit to drop as well because they have that account uh, on their credit report. Um, for more ways that uh, you could possibly ruin someone else's credit uh, versus just yours, uh, get back in touch with us or, or reach reach out to us. You can request a free consultation below. Um, if you feel that you have uh, inadvertently hurt someone else's credit and you'd like to actually assist them in repairing their credit, give us a call. You can refer a friend. We have a refer a friend form on our app, which can be found at keycreditrepair.com. We'd be happy to assist either you or the, the friend that needs the assistance. Uh, thanks, guys, so much. Nick Tsugalis here, president of Key Credit Repair, and have a great day.